I assembled this collection over the years and uh, here we have for the first time all the books we have collected uh, through our life because before being here this collection was scattered all over the world in uh, five places in Europe and five places here in the States. And so it took us two years to bring all these pieces together and to have them all here at the Smithsonian. And this is why we have opened the collection to the scientific community to take advantage of our research. And here we have really ancient books. For example, we have a first edition of all the works by Hippocrates, which was published in the uh, 19th century in 10 volumes. And we have also another monument, the first complete printed edition, modern printed edition of uh, Galen, the great physician of uh, antiquity. All the texts about the uses of natural substances have been preserved in manuscripts, it's to say books written by hand. This is a copy of an ancient manuscript, a collection of medicinal plants. We have on each page one or two plants which were used for therapeutic purpose. We have this very nice plant here, which is Physalis alkekenji, scientific name, Chinese lamp, in a vernacular uh, name. We have here in the herbarium the dry specimen of this plant and when we compare them we'll see that this is a very good characterization of what the plant looks like. This is a facsimile, replica facsimile of a manuscript of the 13th century, the book itself, but the text inside is of the 6th century, always AD of course. And so this is a very precious manuscript, once again with this representation of the plants. Sometimes I open books which haven't been open for more than five centuries. And sometimes it's in places which are impossible to reach. At the end of the world, a small monastery where there is only one monk still living there and you have to force the door uh, to make it clear that you won't steal the manuscript, you're just, you're a scholar, you just want to study it, to make pictures of it. I have hundreds of thousands of pages of texts which I have reproduced from the manuscripts. This is a unique resource for new medicines and for the treatment of the pathologies which are affecting humankind right now.